We took apart our tabletop RPG game table. But that's not to say its story was over. We took the legs off the table so we could transport it down the stairs in my house. Why? No, it wasn't on its way to a dumpster. In fact, we took it directly to the new gaming room that we had set up to hold it, and the symbolic dedication that follows it. We had created a new gaming space, one with more privacy, immersion, and accessibility than ever before. We began to decorate it to fit how we wanted to feel while playing even going as far as to literally risk life and limb for a carpet we thought would make a nice companion to our table. We moved the books, the terrain, the minis, and everything else we had previously hidden away in a dark corner into the bright, clean, and specific displays in our new setup. Things were looking up. But something happened. Even now, we're really unable to put a finger on it. We had played with our old group a dozen times, and even when they couldn't play, we made a new group, with whom we had a ridiculous and memorable session the literal weekend before this all started to happen. And that is that suddenly, even with this new setup, we just could not get our game scheduled. Perhaps it was time, maybe transportation, probably just a lack of communication, commitment, motivation, probably a mixture of all of those. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is that it stands in our minds as a failure. A failure that needs correcting. So here's our plan, as of 2022, to get back to gaming. One, write a new story. I've written only one campaign before, and we never got to see the payoff. At our second attempt, we decided to play from one of the many pre-created adventures offered to the masses that play D&D. But it got boring having so little say in the plot. Now, it's time to create a story that is planned out, executed, and completely torn off its hinges by my party. 2. Terrain I haven't made terrain in so long, but it's time to get inspired. Seth, my friend who's endured this whole journey with me, hasn't gotten all the way into terrain yet, but his interest has grown exponentially since the last time we played D&D. With a new story and setting, I'm sure the stuff will be crafting itself. 3. Communicate. We need to talk to our friends. If we wanted to, we could have a 10-person group right now, but we've just been lazy. It's time to get on the phone, message the group chats, see what kind of schedule we can get down, and start a new, dangerously creative, daring, and diabolical group of adventurers. 4. Play. And have fun and make up for all the games and incredible conversations between otherworldly characters we haven't had, and watch as my party devolves into chaos over a game-altering decision, and hint at the clever trick played by the villain, and most importantly, talk about what happened in the game world for days, months, and, and years after the campaign is finished. I say that losing our game was a failure. But that's not because of some ideal of organization, and it's not because I think I'll never again see my friends' grins after beating the ever-loving crap out of Neznar the Black Spider, who changes nefarious ways because of my party. I say it because gaming is about spending time and crafting stories with the people that you care about, and we've lost too much of that already. So, that being said, we hope that you've enjoyed the continuing story of our D&D &D table, even though it seems like it's really only just begun. We'll see you around town, adventurer. May your endeavors to protect the innocent and your tests of mind and strength make you laugh, make you cry, and keep you from ever forgetting the memories that you make around your own special table.